The JOA is pleased to announce that in partnership with the IOC, we will be hosting a special medal reallocation ceremony on August 9th, 2024 in Paris at the Champions Park, which is near the, which is near the epicenter of all track and field activities that will be specially arranged by the IOC. The venue will be arranged at all medalists, their guests, National Olympic committees and other specially invited officials will converge on the Champions Park. The medals will be, will be presented to the athletes by the IOC representatives along with the JOA representation. A long time coming, yes, the Jamaica Olympic Association announcing plans to reallocate Olympic medals to three Jamaican athletes in a special ceremony at the Paris 2024 Games. Continuing this Feel Good Friday edition of the Sportsman Zone with news on athletics and plenty of reasons to feel good for the trio of Beverly McDonald, Chelsea Hammond Ross and Khalees Spencer Carter as they will be making the trip to the French capital along with their families where they will be presented with their Olympic medals. Yes, an elated Spencer Carter was at Thursday night's Jamaica Olympic Association Paris launch where the announcement was made. Oh my god, I mostly am just super, super elated. I'm happy about that. This has been a long process. I heard from, I think maybe about 2021, that yes, I'll be getting the medal. Then I heard, okay, I have to wait. And then it was just a long process. And just to know now that I'll actually be getting that medal, not only just getting that medal, but getting it at the 2024 Olympic Games. It's a super, super honor. And I'm so grateful for the GOA for putting their foot forward and just assisting with that process. And I'm very, very much happy that it will be done. Yeah. Crossing the line, I was disappointed. Definitely disappointed knowing that I didn't get a medal. But thinking back, when I heard at first that I was going to be getting that medal, I was in my house and I was extremely happy. I'm a little bit more calm now because yes, yes, it's happening and I'm, I'm just grateful. But what I'm really happy about, as I said earlier, that my son is born and he'll be able to experience that, seeing mommy collect that medal, even though it's 12 years later, but I'm just super excited for that. And I'm very happy and can't wait to really go out and get that medal and see how I really feel again. Yeah, Kali Spencer Carter there, Olympic bronze medalist is what we can officially refer to her as. And remember, she crossed the line fourth at the London Games in 2012. Um, this is truly massive for these athletes, Donald, because when you've worked a lifetime to get opportunities to represent your country on the global stage one, but... Um, to, to every athlete wants to go to the Olympic Games, every, athletes wants, every athlete wants to win an Olympic medal. And when you feel that you have been cheated out of that, it is a very difficult pill to swallow, no pun in intended. Um, <laughs> but it is an amazing feeling, I'm sure, for all these athletes. And you know some, an interesting story that I heard about Khalees Spencer Carter, and she speaks about her son, um, her husband is a pastor, and I understand... Pastor Michael Carter. Yes, mm -hmm. you know him well. You go mm -hmm. to his church. I understand that he prophesied that she would win an Olympic medal. Um, and I think, remember, a year or two ago, she was still training. Um, maybe three years ago, she was still training. And I wondered to myself if part of the reason she was still training was because of that prophecy. Um, but as it turned out, the prophecy is indeed correct, but it is a retroactive medal and not one that she'll win in Paris, but will collect in Paris. Um, and truly, 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 I am happy for Khalees Spencer Carter and the other athletes. You know, the good thing about it is that she's not getting it in the mail. Yes. Um, oh, yes. It, it feels different, doesn't it? And. I guess persons just looking on and, and wondering what's the big deal about it. It is a massive deal. Um, coming forth is probably one of the worst things you can ever come in sport in terms of missing out on a medal. And I felt it for her at the time because she was having a couple of fantastic seasons, especially on the circuit, right? Yeah. And, and, and you felt that it, was, it, it, it would have been one of the best times for her to win an Olympic medal. And I was so disappointed for her, but for her to actually receive it now and the fact that she's going to Paris with her family 
it's it's amazing um, and, and she deserves it, obviously. Yeah, she very much deserves it. I want to have a look at all the athletes who um, will be getting um, their medals at the Paris Olympic Games. Of course, Calice um, Spencer Carter, she finished fourth, as you just saw there in the 2012 400 meter hurdles champion. It is the lady who crossed the line first, Natalia Antioch out of Russia, who has subsequently been disqualified. Also, Chelsea Hammond Ross, who finished fourth at the Beijing Olympic Games in 2008 in the women's long jump and uh, it is Tatiana Lebedeva of Russia who has been disqualified and Beverly McDonald who finished fourth wow. from lane number one in the women's 200 yep. meters at the Sydney Olympic Games um, she will now get a bronze medal after Marion Jones's disqualification and let us not forget um, Donald, that the Bahamian Pauline Davis has already benefited from that Marion Jones disqualification because she has for some time now gotten her Olympic gold medal. Now, interestingly, um, Beverly McDonald's medal had been sent by the IOC some time ago and apparently got lost um, somewhere at the National Association. I'm not 100% sure, but they can't find it. So that was rather unfortunate. And I know it was frustrating for Beverly McDonald and her family. One of the things I want to point out, though, there she is. She ran out of lane number one in that Sydney 2000 final where Marion Jones crossed the line first and Pauline Davis Thompson finished second. She had to settle for fourth across the line. And it was a terrific race. If you take Marion Jones out of this race, who was miles away from the rest of the field, 2184 at the time, and I think still is the second largest winning margin in the history of the Olympic Games in this event. Behind Marion Jones is a titanic battle for the medals. Yeah. And the Bohemian Pauline Davis Thompson crossing the line second and now ultimately the gold medalist. There was another Bohemian, Debbie Ferguson, later McKenzie, who was also in that lineup as well and had crossed the line fifth. There's Pauline Davis Thompson, now the eventual gold medalist. Uh, but I wanted to make the point beyond Beverly McDonald and quickly moving to Chelsea Hammond that we had highlighted the issue a year ago here on the Sportsmax Zone yeah. and we had a conversation at the time with Chelsea Hammond who had pointed out to us that she had gotten a lot of run around from the various associations that the current JOA um, essentially had said to her well we weren't in office at the time when this happened mm -hmm. and whatever mm -hmm. the case might be my sentiments at the time was it didn't matter who was in office when and that it was about the best interest of the athletes. And I really do want to say kudos to the Jamaica Olympic Association President Christopher Samuda um, for listening to that conversation, discussion, um, charge, um, taking that and really thinking about the best interest of the athletes and getting it done. I think that's a real big man move. Um, and, and, and I want to really credit the Jamaica Olympic Association for this because on this day in sport, the athletes are extremely happy um, as we saw related by Kelly Spencer Carter. And I know Chelsea Hammond Ross is the same, Beverly McDonald as well. In fact, we wanted to have Beverly McDonald as part of that conversation with Chelsea Hammond Ross a year ago. But by that time, she had given up. Um, mm. It had been so long, she felt as if she had spoken enough and she just felt that at that stage nothing was going to change. Yeah. I'm happy that on this day something has changed and they will get the opportunity to collect their medals. Quickly, before we go to the break, Donald, um, they won't be running in Paris for their medals because they've already run for them. But those who will, will be running on a spanking track. Have you seen it? Uh, it's, it's, it's purple. What's it's, wrong with that? It's, Forget the color. <laughs> Forget the, do we have the shot of, of the track, of the Paris track? Forget the color, Donald. It's, no, it's actually quite beautiful to, to look at. It oh really is beautiful. If, if I were an athlete, well, one at that level. Yes. I would, I, I would be training so much harder having seen this because I would want to be in Paris to experience this surface. This is... Uh, Listen, this is beautiful. Yeah, you know what? You can make fun of Kingston College all you want. And yes. in my mind, the jokes are just flooding. But it is a, it's, it's a wonderful track to look at. Um, spanking new. 
And just, the contrast with the purple yes. as well, mm -hmm. that adds to the beauty. So you see... Is that lavender? Is that, is that, are, are you going into niche here? I think, I think that's lavender, isn't it? It's lavender and violet, is it? I don't know, you're telling me. Oh, you have no idea of the colours? Listen, I am a man. I know black, Hold on, blue, hold on, hold on a second. What, you white, know what, don't expound yellow. as to what you're trying to say. It's fine, <laughs> don't expound. I am saying I only know the primary colours. Okay, but you're speaking and of I'm shades of even, purple. And I'm not even sure if I'm talking about um, primary colours in the real <laughs> in the right meaning thing. of <laughs> primary colours. Because purple isn't the primary <laughs> colour, <Exactly>. is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's break time. <laughs> Thank you.